precedent. And to your point, the average American is not running for president or the president. There are, there are very few Americans doing that. Stephen, can you explain some of the things you'd be looking for that would be, say, a blockbuster revelation beyond what we've already learned in bits and pieces or key nuggets that could be gleaned from this? Well, we just got the documents posted, and I've been looking closely at foreign accounts and foreign sources of income in the last hour. Uh, what strikes me immediately is that um, in 2015, 16, and 17, uh, Donald Trump had foreign accounts in the UK, Ireland, China, uh, and also uh, looks like St. Thomas, ST. Uh, but then in 2018, um, only UK, and 2019 and 20, only UK. And so that's one of the things I'm looking at. And we know from last month's trial uh, of the Trump Organization in New York that Trump's accountants, tax accountants, said that his presidential returns had to be squeaky clean. So I, I suspect that things got cleaned up some later on. Yeah. Yeah. And it, and it is interesting. And that's a little bit of what Kristen was talking about earlier, too, is that you were you were saying that it's going to be key about foreign entities. Where where were the investments? Where was the money going? What foreign entities was he involved with? We also know that President Trump was supposed to be have a mandatory audit uh, from the IRS and he didn't have one three out of four years. He was always so paranoid around his taxes, as you alluded to earlier. Uh, do you think that, you know, there's any appetite to codify this into law from, from it would have to come through Congress, but also, you know, doesn't this just speak to just the broader paranoia of Trump's feelings around his money and his taxes? Yeah, and, and I do think this goes to politics in general. When yeah. you're thinking about Trump, you know, we can always say, is his base going to turn on him for everything that happens, right? You know, any kind of glitch in the road. And is this something that's going to do that? Probably not. But when you look at Trump, the things that he really cares about are his image and the narrative that he built for the last several decades before he ran for president, before he even was considering that you know, level of politics. This is something that he sold his entire life on, the Trump Hotel. It was his brand and it, it's associated with success and wealth. So that is part of why there have been rumors for decades around New York that he might not be as wealthy as he seemed. In fact, I talked to some of his closest associates back from those days who said they believed he would never run for president because it would be too much financial scrutiny. And they just didn't believe that because he is so private and so uh, inter invested in not sharing this information publicly that he just couldn't get through that and run for president. Of course, obviously he did, and he did not release his taxes and uh, broke precedent there. Uh, but yes, this is a big part of how he even ran back in 2016. Mm -hmm. He said that if he could be the successful of a businessman, then he could successfully run a nation. And that's why we're looking so closely at just how successful those businesses were. And that's why it's so interesting when you look at the fact that, yes, some of this is strategic accounting. This is something that people People who have this kind of money and these kind of resources do. They claim these large losses and then they carry over millions and millions of dollars. We already know he carried over $105 million in 2015, 73 million. These are losses that he carries over in order to offset his income tax and pay less money. But when you look at that 2020 number, did that actually come from those offsets or was this a COVID number? coming at that time where businesses were severely impacted. And so it's just going to be interesting to paint a picture of this because we only know one narrative, and it has been Donald Trump's narrative that he is a wealthy, successful businessman, and that is what gives him this power and this strength in this country. Mm -hmm.